right. Mag in the day. No, we're living in the age of superheroes right now. Uh, kind of going through a little slump, I think, with some things, some of the major ones out there. But we're still getting a lot of good superhero properties. If you're not getting them on the screen, on the big screen, that is, then you're getting them on the small screen with streaming. Uh, but back in the day, you didn't have a whole lot of choice. No. You know, you only had about one or two superhero movies every three years or so. So when you got them, they, you know, you better make the best of it. It better be good. That's yeah. why people, when Superman came out, awesome. It was, you know, we were lucky that it was just a good superhero movie, too. 78? 70, yeah, 78, 79. The first Superman, I think, was 78. I okay, think. all right, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> and then Superman 2, great sequel. Yeah. So it was like, oh, my God. You know what? Getting all this good Superman goodness right here. Just crank it out. Cranking it out. And then when they... <laughs> so why? Why would I think that Superman 3 wouldn't be any different, man? And why would I wait? You know... Why would I not think that they are on their way to making the perfect trilogy, especially when everybody's getting the everybody's getting the uh, the team up, the ultimate superhero team up that they've been waiting on. They've been waiting on. Everybody been waiting on the two superheroes they've been waiting on: Superman and Richard Pryor. Woo! When it's time for adventure, it's time for Superman. Alexander Salkine presents Christopher Reeve and Richard Pryor in yes. Superman 3. This I'll speak to Richard Pryor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he goes to the chair and he's like, presents Christopher Reeve and, and Richard Pryor. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Richard Pryor and who? <laughs> One of these things is not like the other. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Christopher Reeve and Buddy Hackett. Yeah, but Christopher Reeves and Richard, huh? Oh. Now, back then, nobody said anything because we just, we were just happy to have it. Yep. Superman. Alexander Salkine presents Christopher Reeve and Richard Pryor in Superman 3. Not today, that sounds ridiculous. It's right, like, yeah, yeah. That sounds stupid today. This is when Richard Pryor was at the top, like on yeah. top. Like, everybody, yeah. you know. Today, that's like talking about the Avengers <laughs> and. Eddie Murphy. You're right, right. <laughs> no, nah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Aquaman. Yeah. Kevin Hart. No, no, man. Yeah, no. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> no, man. No, but good, back man. then, you know, it's all we had. And plus, these were two big names yeah. Superman and Richard Pryor. You know, the hell with it. We'll take it. This time, Richard Pryor has come to Metropolis. Oh, I'm sorry. I know they ain't saying the character's name. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Pryor. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 yeah, Richard Pryor, like the real, the real guy went to go meet Superman. <laughs> I know it's so stupid to say that, though. Richard Pryor is in Toronto. Shit, yeah. Movie. Yeah. I mean, just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> this time, Richard, Richard Pryor is in Gotham City. Right. Like, just say the character's name, man. Yeah. Pryor has come to Metropolis. Oh, I'm sorry. And he's got something to sell. Booze. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and cocaine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's the best con man. And the world's greatest computer genius. Uh, okay, this is... Wait, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why can't he just be a computer genius? He, like, how come we gotta be a con man too? <laughs> even back <laughs> then, yeah. Man, even back then, it was like... And notice they... They put con man first. first. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't be, they couldn't talk about the genius part first. They had to mention, like, his black ass is a con artist. Right, he's a con artist. Oh, and by the way, he knows computers. Too. Yeah. He's a genius. Oh, man. by the way, he's a smart guy, too. <laughs> he's a genius of computers. Well, well, can he market that skill? <laughs> and even, yeah. And well, that, that's all part of the movie, man. That's a, like, that, that question and more. Because you look at this. Because <laughs> look, I'm looking at this, and this is kind of like, you know. Back then, when we saw this trailer, it was just kind of like, we were like, okay, we're going to give you the benefit of the doubt, but this yeah. is stupid. I don't like the way this is, yeah, I don't like <laughs> yeah. the way this is shit else so far. Yeah, yeah so, because everybody thought, like, all right, Richard Pryor's going to be with somebody like Mr. Mixoplex or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, I turn around, he's just a con man of fucking... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's, 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 he's crowbar in the yeah. film. He's a, he's a computer genius and a con man. I was like, all right, sure. Uh, but, <laughs> so, so how, how, how did... <laughs> how did Pride in, in, in this movie be a turn out to be a computer genius and all this kind of stuff? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and jump into the movie. Uh, so th I, I'll tell you, with this movie right here, being that they got Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor up at, at the time is at the height of his game, at the height of his career, mm. and huge name. So 
when they put him in the movie, it wasn't a Superman movie anymore. No, it was. It was. It's, it's a Richard Pryor movie now. Sure. You know, uh, Superman uh, happens to be there. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, you know, they, Richard Pryor's not getting top billing because it's just a Superman movie. But you know, they he's pretty much being the bigger name here. So this, they they went ahead and, and turned this into a Richard Pryor movie right in the beginning too. Oh, twenty seconds in. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds into this movie, he's this fool's already sitting up there looking crazy and scared. Next. Name? Gus Gorman. Oh, Damn, God. brother, he just, look, he just look, said your name. Gus Gorman. Gus Gorman. They're on to me. Oh. <laughs> already, getting, already getting scared, yeah, Richard, man. I know, I know. Yeah. Shit, ain't nothing happening, brother. They just called your name. See, I don't care. <laughs> you might have not seen this movie in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just go on. <laughs> Brother, stop. Got the beer, bitch. Get a, quit being a bitch. Get a goddamn spine, man. They just your called name. your name. Brother, facing your voice. <laughs> Next. Name. Gosh, Gorman. Yes, honey. Are you sure? Is that, is that, I mean, I think that's my name. I don't know. I'm not sure that's the name. But, man, so this is a... This is a this is a, this is straight up a prior comedy right now, Richard Pryor comedy. Because when I when it started out, there's a moment like I'm not, I'm not even lying. I forgot that I was watching a Superman movie. <laughs> I thought it was a, pre, a a Richard Pryor comedy that we were computer watching, comedy. man. Not, not even computer comedy because there ain't no computers in it at first. It's just Richard <laughs> Richard Pryor in the unemployment line. Oh, that's the only, doing, I know where he was. Yeah, just doing doing Richard Pryor things. The only other employment you found was in a fast food joint, which lasted. 28 minutes? Well, that's some kind of record. Talk about fast. Well, you know, those people are crazy. They expect you to learn that stuff in one day, right? I'm like, hold the lettuce, hold the ketchup. Me. Can I have some sauce, please? I don't want any sauce. Mr. Two buns, no buns, and cheese, and no cheese. You know, and they're letting them do a lot of ad libbing too in this. Not even this good stick here. No, it's not, man. This is this 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 is. Let's just say that this is not top tier Richard Pryor no. comedy. He's at the top of his game, but it ain't in this movie. No, nah, man. <laughs> they gave him brother five million dollars for this shit. They gave him five million dollars to come here with these weak ass ad libs, man. <laughs> and he just coasted through this shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not gonna tell you he ain't even trying. He's, he's looking at him right there. He is not even trying. You know when, you, when Richard Pryor, because even in some parts of the toy, which is not a great film, yeah. as we, we established earlier. But you can see some parts where he's actually, look, I'm trying to make this work. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, this brother's like, I don't give a fuck. Superman's yeah. name, you know, whatever. Yeah, exactly. I got my money. And by the way, this is... Uh, <laughs> I got my check. Okay. So he, this, this is the most black people probably seen in a Superman movie in a damn unemployment line. Oh, <laughs> lady. oh man. Yes. Yeah. 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 in by. Next. Of course, his brother's smoking cools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the, in the, in the unemployment line. They're smoking a pack of cools in the unemployment line, man. That's yeah, what it is. And, and, and by the way, y'all, this is the this is this is this is early '80s. So you know, in the '70s and early '80s, if there was black people in a movie like this, you know, when it was a movie with mostly white people, they had a few black people in there. They always had them uh, them poor black people looking scenes where they just where they you know I say this because they were poor. And they would always be kind of just looking poor and looking crazy and lost, yeah. like like right here, like, like they ain't supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know, they they they, they supposed to look poor and black, right? So they they just, they just sit up there and they just kind of just look at the screen all like they broke and shit. You are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just looking sorry. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, like you say, looking sorry. Yeah, like, like and also and also looking just out of our out of our element. Yeah, this just, this this you know, uh, look look at broken Lord, black. Man. Yeah, yeah. You oh, are. Nailed oh, it. Look like, huh? well, what's going on over there? <laughs> nailed it. Nailed it, guys. <laughs> what, I do that again. What, what's happening over there? Yeah, yeah. We'll be that over there. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Now, when you get to actual Metropolis, oh shit! <laughs> you know that's that's the employment line of Metropolis. When you get to actual Metropolis over here, man. Uh, <laughs> You know, I'm like, cool, okay, we about to leave. We get in the metropolis, leave Superman's domain. Yeah. So we gonna leave all this silliness behind. Now we about to get into some real superhero <laughs> shit right here. Think again, motherfucker. No, no. He no. said we about to leave all this silliness behind. We about to leave this silly shit. We about to get some real <laughs> Superman stuff right now. We get that out the way. Yeah. yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get to it, man. No, no, no. It, the, the shit got sillier and wackier, man. So. The, 
So the biggest threat to Metropolis, my friend, the biggest threat to Metropolis is a is a pair of big titties. Because <laughs> people see those titties and they just turn to idiots. Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Old girl from, uh, what's her name? Yeah. Yeah. These she people, just, they see this, they turn, they, everybody, they just, the, the losing minds. People's huh? brains just melt. Like they ain't seen a pair of titties before. So now the whole thing is turning to slapstick. Yeah, I know. The <laughs> phone booth just fall over like, ball, like, like it cardboard. It. Yeah, like, they can't knock a phone booth over like that. Yeah, like, like, what is it? The phone has to be connected to something. <laughs> <laughs> and one one chick on Rose Crazy knocking them all over. Yeah. Is she Superman? Knocking over a hot dog stand. Just, yeah, this it turns into slapstick, man. And my, one dude sees a pair of titties, right? Because one dude sees a pair of titties, man. Those titties must have been good. Seeing our dogs. Seeing our dogs see those titties and they quit that job on the spot. <laughs> like one dude, one one dog. Not a dude, one dog ran by like, hey man, come on, you see these titties over here? <laughs> hey man, come look at these titties. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah. Shit. That little dog said, fuck that blind man. Come look at these titties over here. That's some slapstick shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I thought that the blind dude, I thought he was in danger because the dog left. Turns out the blind dude's a danger to everybody else. Where are you? Oh. So this whole thing turns it, it really is just one long slapstick joke that's happening, man. It's weird. And again, it yeah, it's weird, man. It's almost like Richard Pryor came in and changed the tone right. of, 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 the, of a Superman movie. Because hmm. they, they made it more of a comedy. Sure. They but felt they had to do that at all levels. Yeah, you didn't have to do all this. No, you did not have to do all that. Um even the cops messing things up, oh, man. Shit. There's a bank robbery going on. And uh, the cops are putting more innocent people in danger than the bank robbers. Shut that man! Fuck it! Shoot across the street. People are walking up the sidewalk. Shot into the crowd of people walking, man. Look at these people, man. Look at these pedestrians. Man, now listen, the cool thing about this, not cool that the cops are putting innocent people in danger and shooting into a crowd, but the cool thing is that, well, you know, the cops have put people in danger. Well, now it might mean Superman's coming up. Right. Because uh <laughs> to quote you, Billy, even the guy that got pulled off the road because the tire got shot by the cops, he runs up a hydrant and water starts filling in the guy's like, ain't this a bitch? Look at <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, you got me, man. And at first he's mad until he realizes he's about to drown. <laughs> So now <laughs> he's gonna fucking shut my car. Up. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? I'm gonna follow. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so now uh, I'm thinking, okay, this this sucks, man. The cops did to this dude. Trying to, but me, meanwhile, no bullshit. The bank robbers long gone. They got away. They gone, man. All the cops. Meanwhile, this innocent man drowning in his car. He's already shut up. Already shut up. Just on his way to work, dying now. <laughs> But the cool thing about this, it's not cool, but the cool thing about this happening is that, all right, well, we finally get Superman who comes in right. to save the day. You know, uh, who we've been waiting on ever since we saw Richard Pryor at the beginning. <laughs> but like, saves the day, by the way, like I said, Robbers got away because I thought, all right, well, shit, now that uh, Superman has saved this guy, mm -hmm. oh, shit, y'all better run, robbers, run, 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 yeah. you can't hide, you're going to get him now. It's like, no, nah, robbers got away, they just, they just <laughs> they kept going, gone. man, they been gone, and 
Robert's got away. Superman goes away. We, and what do we do? <laughs> Superman goes away. You <laughs> don't even try to look to see where the robbers are. Like, well, you don't even land. Like, what the fuck caused all this? You know, he just, <laughs> ain't like, asking no questions. He ain't asking no questions. He's about to yeah, I gotta look. get to work. Yeah, <laughs> right, I got you. Right. Everybody good? Yeah, right. Right. So I gotta get to the Daily Planet, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it is. Yeah, y'all stop those other sons of bitches, man. I'm, <laughs> I got more information over there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I've been late too many times. Yeah, <laughs> the robbers get away. Superman's like, well, look, you know, I did one good thing today. Yeah, well, you're welcome, sir. And he just flies off and goes goes to work. So what's left? <laughs> we get back into that silly shit. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the bucket too. We can't do that man like that. <laughs> this is that long. That shit already got the pain. Oh, I thought it was bullshit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but that shit bullshit. What was that damn? Pterodactyl yeah, shit over there. I, mean, I was like, wow, guys, you're really laying it off thick. Boy, that bucket landed hard. I too, sure did. Damn, damn. Get your ass. Old oh, fucking head. Old oh, fucking head, motherfucker. <laughs> did he deserve that? What was he doing? Just standing he, there? Man, he didn't deserve nothing. He was about his own business. Then <laughs> so why did that happen? Why did that happen? Because, yeah. uh, Oh shit! I forgot somebody was doing some painting, and I guess the one with the titties walked by, and he just dropped the bucket. Oh, that's what I was trying to get to. When the titties go by, so like, yeah. she's the actual villain of this. Yeah, one. she's. Yeah. I tell you, the, the biggest threat to to Metropolis is those yeah. titties, man. Cause all this chaos. Yeah. Oh my Robert's god. Robert's got away and everything, man. Uh, so that man get a he gets a bucket on his head, and listen. After that, we ain't done yet. Listen. She, you forgot, man. We forgot to throw the mimes in. Oh, God. <laughs> this man still back in his bucket. Get the head. Head. Whoa, yeah, take it off your head, man. <laughs> <laughs> he back there, like, like straightened out his jacket. Why he still got a bucket on his head? <laughs> Trying to be a gentleman with a bucket on his head. <laughs> look like, yeah, back there, look Straight like a tin man and shit. Yeah. <laughs> like a broke ass Doctor Doom, <laughs> and that's when they really start tearing up the city. When that, when they, when that mind starts slipping on those, on those, on that, no, on those, 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 that, those, uh, that bubble gum or whatever. <laughs> That dog's well, that dog yeah. gone. That dog quit his job yeah, that he, day. Yeah, he did. So that, dog, that dog's at the strip club. Now. Yeah, yeah. We got everything. We got the mind slipping on everything. People running the poles. They'll the, be moving the painting. It's gonna get run yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! I wonder what's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Glass. Yeah. That gonna be a moving glass. It's either glass or eggs. Or yeah. <laughs> 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 that dog was like, oh, no, oh, there you are, boss. <laughs> also, is that painting man? Is that painting man? Tissue painting? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he, <laughs> he didn't like, there was no resistance at all. He just yeah. walked right through. Uh, maybe shit, maybe he got superpowers. <laughs> okay, like this. That dog, look at that dog. That dog got caught. Yeah. Oh, shit, boss. I was like, oh, look at that. Yeah. I was for you. I want chasing Teddy. <laughs> yeah. And look, the mom still can't get up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that struggle. Boy. If Superman wasn't around, half of Metropolis would be dead from stupid. <laughs> all you need is somebody carrying a big ass birthday cake. Yeah, that's right all there. you need right <laughs> there. A wedding cake, rather. Right? Yeah, those big, those big tall wedding cakes. Yeah, Two damn, guys carrying boy. that. Superman, y'all didn't have Superman. Half this city be destroyed. Yeah, someone just like uh, do the piano. Oh, oh yeah, 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 the piano. Yeah. Whoa. And <laughs> so we get to the, 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 the to the Daily Planet where your boy Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Even he was under the uh, under the spell of those titties, man. He was he was he was sent out to take pictures of something. Oh shit! He was sent out to take pictures of this of this of this rich tycoon. He took one picture of this dude and the rest of them none but titties. But <laughs> one thing I don't understand, Lois. The point of the story Lois wrote is how this Ross Webster got this great honor, and you bring me one picture of him and fifteen pictures of this this other person. <laughs> wow, Jimmy's a creep. And Jim, notice that Jimmy He's smiling shit. Sm- notice that Jimmy made sure to focus on them titties. On them titties yeah, right yeah. there. Jimmy on the one hand on his dick, yeah. on the camera. I'm telling you right ain't, now, ain't no face in that picture, nope. by the way. Hey, who know, who knows what that is? <laughs> I will say this though, man. Speaking of the Daily Planet, 
I will say that for this movie having the bad reputation that, that it does, and it's as far as I'm concerned, it's well deserved. <laughs> they did have some really good scenes in here. Because I was looking at this and I was saying, man, you know what I'm watching right now is not bad at all. And actually, what I was watching right here, I said, man, this is this is a really good scene because you know a lot of this is still carried by Christopher Reeves. Sure. No, he he was a, he was a perfect Clark Kent. Oh, he was amazing as Clark Kent, man. You know, we had these scenes <laughs> where I thought they weren't bad at all, man. Uh, the moments at the at the at the Daily Butte, I'm the, the, the I'm sorry, the Daily Planet. That's Spider Man is the Daily Butte. The moments where he's at the Daily Planet. Uh, these are where the old players from, like the yeah, first like two Jackie movies. Cooper and Margaret yeah. Kidder. I don't know if she's in this movie very long. She's but... in it for like yeah five minutes, right? But then the cool and the dude that plays Jimmy Olsen, all the old players, they're you know at the top of their game, man. They're at their best. Thirty-three. See, what I thought the story would be about, Mister White, is, is how much. Thirty-three. Much... They're like, bitch, if you don't be quiet, yeah, no, you do this to me all the time. He's like, if I didn't have this secret identity protect, I'm gonna knock the shit out. <laughs> he was like, do this to me all the time. He's, He's like, like, God damn it, can I, can I get a sentence out, bitch? <laughs> he did. Christopher Reeves with this. He showed why Superman worked so well. And it's by because of Superman. 33. See, what I thought the story would be about, Mr. White, is, is how 33. much... 33. God damn it. <laughs> is how much a typical small town has changed in the last 15 years. Now, you take me, for example. Can I really go back to middle America after having become a metropolis sophisticate? I'm really excited about this idea. In fact, I was looking around in my closet last night. I even found... Well, high school sweater. You know, man, it, looking at Christopher Reeves, he showed why Superman really worked. It, was just, it, was, it wasn't just because of Superman. You know, people really loved Clark Kent because he was so lovable, man. Anytime he played Clark Kent, those were the best scenes in every movie. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. He was so, you know, he played him so goofy and nerdy, but he was so lovable, man. Yeah, he you knocked know? shit over on purpose. And, yeah. And then he would kind of stumble his words here and there, and then he let everybody interrupt him, and, you know, oh. with his big ass, let people push him around. <laughs> I mean, he should sure did, man, because that was the thing. He's the strongest guy in the world, but he chose to be like this this sweet nerd, man. And and you were right. You know, being Superman must have compensated for a lot because Clark Kent, everybody treated him like a bitch. Man. You know, I mean, people would even <laughs> people would even dignify him with words sometimes. Well, I guess I'd better be going too. So I'll be going. Well, fuck y'all, dude. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> we know what they're doing, too. Somebody would, would treat him like a bitch or something, then immediately they'd be like, don't let people push you around. I you know like, fucking did. Like, 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 don't be gaslighting me, bitch. Yeah, like you did, yeah. You mean like you? <laughs> been doing ever since I've been working on the daily plan? <laughs> for every, for every day? This is day one. Yeah, he didn't even, did you see how he looked at him? Like, he didn't even, man, you, you couldn't even bother to say, uh-huh, uh-uh. You know, he... He just shook his head. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't even vocalize it. Look, look at this. So I'll be going. You heard you, motherfucker. Yeah, you could have gave him a grunt or something. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Maybe a pleasant go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, that was a go fuck yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> hey, went back to working them balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that, his balls are lottery balls. Uh, he's he, like, he opened his own shit right there. Yeah, he's like, clock and get these nuts ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like, you want me to say body? I got yeah. some for you. Oh, <laughs> you better pull his dick out there. Fuck you. Yeah, she, she act like she waving to whip something yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we busy. Shit, what you working with down there? Hey, what you working with? <laughs> look at him, he look at him. <laughs> you don't show me, Jones. Stop bullshit. You need to quit teasing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we, we been doing this dance for a long time. Um, but also, what they did was they also made Daily Planet look like a real newsroom, like a bustling they newsroom. Sure and they it seems like they're doing it in this one, too. No. That's the one thing I always love about it. You that, know. You, man, you, you are really right, Billy, yeah, about man. that. That looked like. Uh, a real, like you say, a real news place, Bust, a real newspaper. Yeah. yeah, you know, just be, you know, my mother, my mother being in the newspaper business, I was really? really used to, you know, that's just like that when I was a kid. It's really great. No, so. I think you hit on something right there, man. That's another reason why I really work. You know, uh, yeah, you know, everybody running around doing their own thing, you know, trying to get stuff. But know, I, I can tell you, man, Clark. I can tell you why they, they ignored his ass half the, half the time. Why? Because, because sometimes, listen, <laughs> man, he played that. He played that goofiness up too much sometimes. Well, he did a good job at it. Yeah, he and did. Half the time, he really wasn't saying shit needed to be listened to. <laughs> <laughs> I found my old sweatshirt. Yeah. Hey, nobody gives a fuck about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Take yeah. your back in your mouth. You, you want us to write a story about that? Yeah, what did you say, tight ass? Some shit you wore when you were 16. And <laughs> I'm like, you got up a dog. 
<laughs> I mean, because he had a good point. Like, hey, you know, I'm going to a big city from a small town. Got my sweatshirt. Okay, now see, so you lost this. Okay, yeah, I don't care yeah, about yeah. the sweatshirt. <laughs> you didn't have to bring props and shit. We get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> visual aids and yeah, shit. Yeah, visual aids and everything. That's man. why I stopped listening to him. I think, wow, he's just doing this shit. Yeah, but he made like hey, like sometimes he just plays that goofiness up too much, man. Like he goes home to his class reunion, like he said he was going to do. Oh, okay. And so he dances. He sees this girl that he likes, <laughs> and, and he starts dancing with her, man. He just gets stupid. <laughs> She didn't even stop. Like, what the fuck you doing? Look at that. She's like, Clark, Clark, goddamn it, stop. <laughs> you supposed to have a superhero, motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. You can't hear the song, Jack. You ain't got no super sense up in you. Yeah, what did you say? What did you say? You hear the song, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah, why don't you get some super rhythm? Oh, hell yes. She's looking at him like, you embarrassing the yeah. hell out of me. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> funny now. Look at that. Oh. She would just get good to him, too. <laughs> yeah, it was. Man, <laughs> he'd be like, check this move out. Yeah. What'd you say? That little stanky leg he grew, he threw up yeah. like, he almost broke his leg. Look at this red. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> shit, he did this thing stanky leg, yeah. And she's not like, okay. what the fuck is going on here? It's slow song now. <laughs> but, yeah, Lana. But, uh, but I can't even talk about him too bad then because at this, because it, it don't matter how goofy he's getting at this class reunion because this is the whitest <laughs> reunion ever. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> dancing goofy like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, you know what? You, 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 can't, you can't make fun of him. No, no I'll I take it back. Yeah, because his shit was acting a little bit better than that. Yeah, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> man, my man brought something else to the, to the reunion. <laughs> he really? Yeah, yeah. yeah that bass head face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. He, he, he coked up, boy. Yeah, yeah. And he's the only one doing it. Too. Yeah, he shit. Everybody's <laughs> just like, yeah, everybody get up my level. Yeah, yeah. Come on, yo. Yeah, my man, yeah. Um, Man, speaking of another good scene here, because it was, it was a lot of good stuff at the beginning of this movie. When they were actually, you know, playing it up to be a Superman movie. Yeah. When they were playing, when, when mostly when they were playing the Clark. Um. So, because they got this real sweet scene going on where he uh, he sees this girl they had a crush on back in uh, in high school, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Lana Lana Lane, Lana uh, Lana, Lana, Lana Lang, Lana like Lang. Is it? Yeah, what is it? Man, this is when we do New Martin, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's Lana Lang. So someone L- tell Lana me. Lang, not Lois Lane, Lana Lang. Right. And, uh, I think that's what it is. Man, and that scene was actually. Man, yeah, Marky. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Lana Lane was in the original comic of. No, I'm not okay. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Yeah, okay. You good? Yeah. We actually went. Did you notice we were listening? Like, right, right. Brother King is a I think it's Lana Lang. I think because I remember it sounds like Lane. Yeah, it's Lana it's Lang. Not a lot of term. I don't know why I said uh, that. And so, yeah, man, they, this scene that they filmed right here. So when they're not playing up the comedy too goofy and they're playing to you know to uh, to Clark Kent and the strength of Clark Kent, uh, some of these scenes are actually pretty nice. That was really cool, like the yeah. way they just whispered that. Yeah, that was really cool, and then showing their pictures. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah so that was actually pretty nice, person. man. Yeah, and it's actually really romantic too, uh, because they start hanging out after the the reunion, and you can see how they get closer. You know, years later, you can look at someone and think, "Well, I guess that's the one that got away." And then, and then, boy, she comes in and she oh. <laughs> she drops that bombshell on him. Do you know how lucky you are to live in Metropolis, the big gay for God? Uh, well, Lana, you can... Oh, no, that's easy to say, but how? And what about Ricky? Ricky? Little boy. You? Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> you back yeah. up here? Yeah. 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 Listen, I ain't that big a hero. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah. Boom, boom. <laughs> you better back up that all piano. Of, so I was <laughs> All of a sudden, she was contagious and shit. Hey, hey, all right. You know what? You damn motherfucker doing a moonwalk there, didn't he? Shit. Now, who's Ricky? Oh, oh shit. shit. Look what he backed up. No, oh, that's easy to say, but how? What about Ricky? Ricky? Uh, Rick, Ricky? Ricky? Boy. You? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, that's great. Well, he, well, he backed up like she was a kryptonite. <laughs> uh, all right. He back, he's about to say, fuck this nigga. I didn't even fly. Yeah, fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. And I wouldn't blame him, man, because cause he's kind of hit now. So he's like, right. shit, you know, yeah. I just can't dip now. He's yeah, like, I know, yeah. So he has to, like, he, he promised her a few things. Like, yeah, hey, you want to go to, because before she says something, like, you want to go to picnic? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. You like, want to hang? Oh, yeah. So now she got him into all this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Ricky? Go! Yeah! Up, up, and away. Man, now she got him in these situations where he can't dip out. Yeah, he was like an asshole. And she, and she hitting hard, too, because she tried to get a baby daddy now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, she tried to. She found. She could have told that shit two hours ago. She could have told that. She could have told him that night when he was out there doing the damn. Stanky leg. <laughs> he was at the door. He was fucking chicken in the stanky leg. He like, yeah, he could. He could have told him what he was doing. Yeah, he was out there doing that. She could let yeah, him know. Yeah, the fuck out the door. <laughs> Shit, he wouldn't have been there that next day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that's the next day. So she, yeah, this is the next. She this had plenty of time to tell him that, she man. She knew what she was doing. Yeah. She planned this. Yeah. So now that she got her roped in, <laughs> she hitting hard that she's looking for a baby daddy. Like, and trying to, and trying to lay on that guilt shit, too, oh, with it. Oh, my God. This is so nice for him. There you go. It's even nicer when there's a man around, which isn't all that often. Jesus. You... <laughs> Like, come on. Been here for Yeah. Let's yeah. 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 lighten up a little bit, all right? Can, can we just eat three? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God damn, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we hit me with the one, two punches, boy. And Clark tried to get that ass, man. So now he's he down yeah. with it. So now he's like, okay, I got to take his little ass out, too. <laughs> so I know, right? He's like, look, 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 I'm in it now. Yeah, he's in like, it. I'm in it now. I'm in it now. I'm going to get some ass Shit, out of this. I'm going to get some ass out of this. He's like, oh, so now yeah. I got I to gotta take this little ass breath somewhere. So now he's, so now he's doing things like you gotta take him to the bowling alley and everything. Come on, Ricky. Oh, wait, sweet. Come on, Ricky. Good luck. Come on, Ricky. Look at that, trying to act like he's real role yeah, model. Yeah, yeah. Come on, that's Ricky, a good job, Ricky. Ricky. Good, good luck. luck. And don't get, don't get to use this, Ricky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Right that's the good shit to do. And try way too hard to impress. I'm like, man, pull back. Because he's trying so hard to impress that he's, uh, Clark is tearing up this goddamn bowling alley now. Oh. Because he's trying to make the kid look good in front of his right, friends. Right, right, right. So he's using his powers in a way that, look, hey, everybody know this kid ain't that strong. But he's trying to get some ass, though. <laughs> Sense of some shit. And his little ass, he's out there in the middle of the field, just knocked out. He just, he just, I don't know what happened, man. You went, you He just, he's in the middle of wheat. Look at this shit. He's in the middle of grass and knocked the fuck out. I'm like, what you, I'm like, what you do to yourself, man? Yeah, look at this, man. He's like, God damn, what the hell 
the hell about this game? We're we knock him out? And the dog's like, look, man, I can't be fucking saving you. Every time I'm wrong with you, man. It's like, what you trip on a blade of grass? What the fuck are you <laughs> Look at him, he's like, Jesus. <laughs> like, what? Wow. <laughs> God damn, I gotta look at this kid all day. <laughs> I can't, I can look, just look, look at him out there in the middle of the field. Knock the fuck, fuck out, out man. <laughs> <laughs> Superman, like, so he's like, so now I gotta, I gotta be Superman. Right. Go save his little ass out there. Yeah, I gotta change my clothes and everything, yeah, cause, man. Because now he's out there, because everybody's stupid, because he's not that knocked out. <laughs> Meanwhile, these people driving these damn, these these plows, and they can't oh, see his ass out yeah. there. <laughs> Boy, and he, and that shit made him mad. He's like, oh, y'all about to fuck up my thing right now, yeah, man. Cause he, I'm gonna work too hard yeah, his ass. Now, his little ass is a kid. Oh, yeah, I like, he's stupid too, but you, you <laughs> He, he got mad at the plow guy. No. <laughs> like, you're fucking up my mold, man. Damn, you know, man. You, <laughs> I'm trying to get some mass. So all like, all y'all get in the way. <laughs> you're like, I, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boy, you, 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 all right. Just, 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 all right. If you had killed this kid and I yeah. and messed up my chance of fucking his mom, <laughs> I'll send you to the shadow zone or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the phantom zone. zone. Yeah, phantom zone. You, man. <laughs> man, you know, I'm working too hard for this now, man. Yeah, boy. <laughs> no, Turn to catch that again. Go back to other, put this in reverse and just get out of my face. <laughs> don't say nothing. Just don't say nothing. Just back away. <laughs> don't say nothing. Well, I'll laser your ass. <laughs> you know, you're about to, too. Hey, yeah. Oh, boy, you're about to mess up a good thing yeah, with me I'm now. Telling you. Um, I'm on day two or three of this shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm tired of this little ass, but you, I gotta take that from you. <laughs> all y'all back the hell wrong, up. Wrong, goddamn yeah, Y'all back the hell up right now. And why the fuck was he knocked out? That kid? <laughs> 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 they don't explain it. He just said, no. He, man, he gets to... <laughs> He gets his superhero, and he, but he doesn't look at the grass. He just laid out, man. <laughs> like he, 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 obviously, he tripped and hit a rock, but how? <laughs> and, and by the way, he hit the only rock out there. Right. Ain't no rocks out there. Out of all that, out, 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 out of all that empty space, all that empty space, he hit the one rock that's out there, man. <laughs> that's the I don't know. He just laid out. I just, he just, yeah. It could have been laying out for a while for a while. Laying. Tripped up his own two feet, man. <laughs> <laughs> and Clark is trying hard to get that ass, man. man. Because, because he gets in deeper than he wants to, man. Oh. It's like he because I'm like, man, just, man game, right. Clark, get get out of there, man. Because now that he's now that he's saved this kid, now the kid is just asking for everything. Oh. You know, he ain't asking for that things from Clark. He's asking for Superman. Superman. Superman was here. Well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know, motherfucker. Yeah. What? Yes, he really was. Uh huh. Oh, are you excited? Uh, well, I'm from Metropolis. I see Superman every day. You do? Could you get me his autograph? Fuck. <sighs> no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, you see what look at this? You, you are one greedy little prick, aren't you? <laughs> Jesus. And it ain't enough to save him. It ain't enough to ask for an autograph. And by the way, Clark agrees to the autograph because he, he does. tried. You know, he tried to get that ass. Plus, he's he, you, he's in it now. I'm saying he's yeah, he backing out now. He's in now. May as well just keep going. But that little kid, not, it, it's not it's not enough that he got saved and got an autograph. Now he got to lie. <laughs> he went lie to all his friends. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm best friends with Superman. Oh, he he's gonna be at my birthday party. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Lay it out. Yeah, like, <laughs> the kid just starts lying, man. Why? What's wrong? What happened to Ricky? Well, it's the autograph he got him from Superman. He got really carried away after that and told all the other kids that Superman's even coming to visit him for his birthday. And look at him. You got that right. I did. Look at him. Look at him. He came in like, you tell him that? No, you tell him everything. He's not like, oh, no. You got that right. You got that right. I did. Tell him everything. Tell him he been telling the time. <laughs> tell him I'm gonna be late. Yeah, tell him I'll be late. Tell him to give me gonna bring me and everything. <laughs> God damn right. Tell, I tell him Ricky run his shit now. This <laughs> <laughs> is <a> Ricky business. <laughs> you got that right. Did you see the way he walked out of this? <laughs> no, 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 he hit him in guilt or anything. He came out to make sure mama got every yeah. detail right. 
after Look that, totally other kids that Superman's yeah, even come to visit. Right, I told him that. <laughs> Trying to get his ass here, pronto. <laughs> you told him everything, right, bitch? Yeah, don't don't forget that. Don't leave that now. <laughs> yeah, kid, hey, you're lying. Give me some shirt, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's mine, baby. Wednesday, okay, it was wrong, but when Wednesday comes and Superman doesn't show up, it's just kind of... Beep me. Look at him, now he's just a super sick. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, God damn, now I'm just a sucker. He like, you know, the thing about it, he's like, damn, I ain't even hit yet. Yeah. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't even been that ass yet. And I'm now I'm a clown for this dude's birthday party. <laughs> if Superman doesn't show up, he's going to be disappointed. Bye, Clint. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like he was drinking water too? <laughs> look, look, go back to where he's drinking when she's talking. He's like, oh, when we, we, yes, do my bidding. Yes. 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 <laughs> you look evil as fuck. Yes, mother, let him know. Yeah, he sure was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Look at that. Look at that motherfucker. He's like, God damn. So yeah. You're going to put my mom. I'm going to get some of that. Damn. Too. He look like, he look like Damien from the Omen yeah. right there. Yeah. He's like, I said, say everything. Yes, mother, do my bidding. <laughs> Let him know. 5 p.m. prompt. <laughs> but it's also like, he's like, nothing ain't nothing gonna go wrong. I said it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Is. You said Ricky run shit. Hell yeah. And both of them. I see where Ricky get it from. Ricky. Ricky get it just, he, Ricky get all this from his mama. Because okay. neither one of them can keep the damn mouth shut. <laughs> You know, Lana, I really wasn't expecting all this. I guess they did get a little carried away. She didn't tell the whole town. Oh, oh, oh. She ran, went out there, ran her mouth and told the whole town. <laughs> Not even wondering where Clark is. Who gives a fuck, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. No, exactly. Superman's here. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Told everyone. Uh, weren't you uh, kind of seeing this guy named Clark? Well, <laughs> fuck him, anyway. Yeah. 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 Who? And look, Superman like... The hell, this bitch, you gotta rethink this, man. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, wow. shit, when did Lois get back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was like, I wasn't expecting shit, all Lois this. Was, like, Lois was kind of a bitch, but she ain't yeah. never put me through yeah. something like this. Yeah, she ain't never done me she like this. She ain't got no kids, for one. <laughs> Ask for autographs and shit. So Lois may have been a bitch, but she never lied to me. <laughs> she ain't never lied to me. <laughs> she let me know exactly where I stood, she right? Running her mouth the whole town and shit. <laughs> she, <laughs> she got dressed up, too. Yeah, she know what she was doing. Now they're having a damn parade for him and everything. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> I'm getting tired of hearing that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you hear a little too often. <laughs> you mean you lied to me? <laughs> so, you're talking about Clark, you know, like, what about Superman? Yeah, but you know, they've got Superman scenes in. Of course, the Superman movie. Uh, they, the Superman scenes are okay. They get kind of silly, man, because they're trying to get too big sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know... Some of them are pretty cool because you get some good Superman saves right here. Like they got a chemical plant that's that's blowing up. Of course they do. Yeah, of course they, they do. They always do. And it's a, you know it's cool. It's one of those scenes where they show you they don't, we, we got money. You know we got a budget for this because they 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 blowing up shit they don't need to blow up. Right. They, everything just <laughs> dirt exploding. Rocks are just yeah. exploding, man. <laughs> Motherfucker, I just blew up. <laughs> uh, so, you know, with that, you get some good super, Superman saves. You know, he knows how to he knows how to improvise really well, man. What I do like about it is that he, you can tell he's kind of getting tired of these people because these people taking that time. Like, hey, look, hurry up, get your ass up in there. Yeah, I gotta get to the kids' yeah, goddamn birthday party. Here. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> kids gonna beat my ass if I don't get there. <laughs> oh yeah, hurry <laughs> up, shit. Um, so you get those good saves where he's, you know, he's saving all the 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 average citizens, improvising with Im the, improvising the uh, equipment around, yeah, right, the environment, yeah, environment. Um, you know, Jimmy Olsen. Jesus. You know, J Jimmy always will get into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> he know what he's doing, too. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he looks like, what, what kind of shit can I get into? Yeah, he should. He look like he set the explosives off. <laughs> like, <laughs> look at he him. Like he looks like he's about to steal something or do he did something wrong. What he's about to do is he's about to start sneaking around a place he's not supposed to. Oh. Like that, and which is why his ass gets into trouble. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so. No. Yeah, he, uh, so, you know, so, of course, uh, Jimmy's gonna get hurt. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Yeah, exactly. ah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> so much for Jimmy. You know, about time. I'm yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh, and you, this is one with Jimmy. I mean, uh, you tell Superman's getting tired of saving Jimmy. Yep. Yeah. Again, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll get Jesus. Jesus. Okay, about your broken legs. Just <laughs> drop him. Yeah. Thud. You know he wanted that shit to hurt. <laughs> yeah, come on. Shit, shut up. You shut the fuck up and just let me pick you up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, all of this is, all those saves are pretty good. All, all that is classic Superman. But now, you start getting to, like, they, they, they want to go big. They want to get the big, the, the big comic book saves. Okay. You know, because those are the ones that look cool. Mm. You know, those are the, the big set pieces. Um, Except that's so crazy that there's really no logic behind it. And I'll, I'll explain. Because I know we're talking about a comic book movie, but it's still like, well, that still don't make no sense. Like, in this chemical plant that they're in, you got these uh, these vats of chemicals that need to be cooled down because they overheat mm-hmm. and they turn into mm-hmm. acid clouds. But if it begins to heat up, it'll turn volatile. If that happens, you'll get a great cloud of smoke that'll eat through anything. Steel, concrete, anything. So, all right, he said, like, cool. So I got to cool this down while also trying to put the fires out. So what he does is he goes over to a nearby lake that he hears about. And uh, he hears about it. Yeah, he, and he, he blows on it, right. puts a crust of ice on the top of it. <laughs> a crust. <laughs> <laughs> picks it up there, picks up the crust of ice that he puts on top of the leg, and then what he's gonna, what he's gonna do is he he uh, he takes it and uh, flies it over the chemical plant so it can turn pretty much into rain and come down and put it oh, yeah. cool down everything and uh, put the fires out. <laughs> So, but you can't okay. beat that theme song, though. No, that theme song is great. So my my thing here, my my question is, if he if he has the power to like cool off the like the top layer of a lake with his ice breath, do you see I'm going with this? How come he just couldn't? Fine. How come he couldn't blow on the acid and, and just put the fires it, out with, yeah. with his with his with his ice breath, yeah. you know? It's just, it, nah, man, get, get the crust of the lake. Gotta get that, cr- <laughs> that crusty lake, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, it don't work yeah. that way. You know, he sat up there the whole time. He could have just <laughs> put all those fires out. He could have blown out. It, now, how easy would have been his blow on his, on his vat of uh, acid right there? I was thinking that when he first said it, but I wonder if he couldn't open the door or something. Uh, probably, maybe not. Maybe the gas okay. would get out. Okay, maybe know. not. I don't but, know. But he, but he still could have put those fires out. He could have, but yeah, he had to go get the crust. But it didn't look as cool. Yeah, did not look as cool. That, I got that, lake, that lake crust. Yeah, let me show you what I can do. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. He's wondering yeah. because it looked cool. Maybe, uh, yeah. uh, have an excuse to play that, uh, that John, that John Williams theme. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Uh, for the H. Somebody said he could have farted on that, on that fire, <laughs> and put it out. That's gas too, though. I don't know. No, that's true. Boom. Oh. That's true. That is true. Everybody go up. Uh. Even Superman's costume changes are silly, man. They have one in here that's pretty cool. It's actually pretty funny. Uh, this is it's actually a good gag. He's uh he couldn't find a phone booth, so he found a photo booth to go oh. to. That's kind of funny. Thank you. That's a good gag. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll give him that. But then it's like, okay, so he. You know, he would go into a phone booth because he would have to like change. He'd, right. You know, and so that's what he always did. Yeah. So, but now they show him like running, and his clothes just melt off. <laughs> so how he gets his clothes back, I don't know. Like he's running behind his fence, and his clothes just kind of just warp away. <laughs> yeah, crossfade. Yeah, 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 <laughs> crossfade. So. So now it gets to a point where I'm like, all right, now now this just brings up some questions. It's just getting silly now. Like uh, he couldn't find a phone booth anywhere, uh, and there were too many people around. So when he's at that chemical plant and he has to change into Superman, he just goes in the back of a cop car while a cop is in it and changes. <laughs> huh? 
So there's a cop in the car. I forgot to put the part on there where the cop was like, Whoa. but it's like, okay, so are your clothes still in the back of the car? Yeah, you know, really. And what if the car had to drive off? <laughs> Guess you fly and, back home and from the So when you have to change back, you have to go back into the car. <laughs> I get out or just leave. Just, <laughs> just leave piles of Clark Kent clothes all over the city. Just, all over just piles like, of, of pants and coats, like coats and shoes, <laughs> and glasses. And glasses. <laughs> yeah, man. It's I just, guess. Okay, it's just silly now, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, um, I mean, that's what's the thing about that. You see, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I know. That's why they play the John Williams music. Yeah. So now it could be argued, it could be argued that people are here to see Richard Pryor more than Superman. Oh yeah, and and and, uh, and the people are still, you know, wondering like, how did he even get Richard Pryor in the movie? And it's a very popular video that's going around, a popular story about how Richard Pryor got involved with this movie. Man, like he really loved Superman, and he and he couldn't wait for Superman too. Right, and he's on Johnny Carson. He was on right? Johnny yeah. Carson, yeah. Let us see pictures. What kind? You, you go see comedies, man. Mo, I want to see Superman too. Superman too. That's my. That's what I'm waiting on to see. Really? Yeah. Well, did you see Superman one? Sure. Well, this one, you know, remember the people was in the glass? Yeah. Well, he goes and gets them. Yeah. And brings them back to Earth accidentally. And there's four Supermans. I didn't know that. Yeah, out of one Superwoman. Oh, it's gonna be good. The previews are great. We sitting in the theater. Yeah, it's Superman. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Silly Negro. Yeah. But, you know, but uh, because of that, they saw his enthusiasm for Superman mm-hmm. and they, they asked him, do you want to be like a comedic villain in the third one? He's like, well, of course he's going to say, yeah. yeah. Especially when you get $5 million or right. whatever it was back then. Yeah, it was um, just, that's like, yeah, it was a ton of money back then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but so, no, that's cool. That's actually kind of a cool story that he loved Superman so much and he got to be in a Superman movie. Yeah, the new producers wanted him. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so Richard Pryor and Superman together sounded good at the time, you know. And, and, and but we quickly found out that that was not a good combination. Uh, for one, when we start getting to Richard Pryor in, in 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 this Superman movie, Superman Three, it's just a lot of Richard Pryor doing a lot of Richard Pryor things that we see him doing in every movie. <laughs> Richard Pryor is back. <laughs> and this time he's more scared than ever. He's doing a great job. The whole thing. <laughs> something he is in this movie i mean they got so many it's man i'll tell you this it's classic scared richard fryer right like you know the whole the, the whole the whole thing we sees his own reflection it's a fucking mirror it's a mirror man that's all it is got those where's he coming from uh Breaking into this building, trying uh, to pack these computers. I guess maybe that's why he's gets scared because he's not supposed to be there. He's drunk too. Uh, you know, yeah. and, and he, of course. <laughs> why is he drunk? I'll, I'll tell you about okay, it a little bit. Right, yeah, right. no, seriously, because okay. uh, he, because he, he trying to, uh, he had to like uh, uh, trick the, the security guard. Okay. It turns out the security guard is an alcoholic. Oh, so he had to drink with him. Okay. Yeah, so he had to drink with him. He just, <laughs> And he, he partook. Well, at least that's why he's walking like that. He ain't just walking no. like that. Like, 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 you know. No, but there's plenty of other shit that he does. Yeah, that's sure. silly. <laughs> he's sober now. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't jump out his own ass for us. <laughs> but there's other parts where, like, he <laughs> give a fuck in this movie. Like, every time they call his name, man, he gets, like, they just. You saw at the beginning of when they called his name. Yeah. Like, oh, at the uh, unemployment office. Yeah. yeah. So he's in his dad. He's in his boss's office right now. They call his name like, oh, yeah. Mr. August Gorman. Huh? Sir. 
He's no, like, no, no. like, God damn it, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm at oh. that silly ass uh, office he had too now. Oh, yeah. That brought me back. Yeah, that weird ass office. Shit, I mean, it's almost like they. And they advertise it too. Like with him being scared. On the, on the poster. The fucking poster, dude. On the poster, he's screaming and hollering. Look at that poster. I hate that poster. <laughs> I mean, that's what the folks just say. Oh, oh, oh. Chris Reeve in the post is like, you motherfucker, boy, yeah, shut your ass out of this. I'll drop your ass right now. <laughs> drop your ass. Because every time I see this post, that's what I hear. Oh, of course. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I think man. he may have hated the poster, too. Richard did Pryor. It? I think he did. I can't remember, though. It's silly as hell. Yeah, I know. Well, he got paid. And if they, you know, and, and if he ain't scared, they're just doing silly shit with him the whole time, man. Just making him look stupid. I mean, I know he's a comedian, but damn. Yeah, I know, but but I mean, come on, man. <laughs> like, even I mean, just stand around. Just you know, he's he's always finding something stupid to get into. Yep. I've been searching for a long time for somebody to make these machines do what they're not supposed to do. You get my drift? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was kind of bad. Because he's like, I got to answer. Is it Robert Vaughn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert Vaughn. Robert right. Vaughn was filling in. For Gene Hackman as a fake ass Lex Luthor. Real fake ass. Even though I love Robert Vaughn, but yeah. Yeah. No, Robert Vaughn, yeah. You no, know, Robert Vaughn is, is great. He's just, you know, they, they, Gene Hackman wasn't coming back for this, right? I think no, he had a busy schedule or something. So yeah. they, they got this guy and gave him a different name, but I mean, he's Lex Luthor. He's Lex Luthor. Yeah. Um, right down to the hot girlfriend. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. Shit, you know, and they got him where he just. Again, ad libbing to where you're just talking crazy. You know, just just make it up shit. Yeah, come on, Boogie, yeah. <laughs> Found some money when I said 65. Who am I now? I can enjoy it while I'm young. I'm going to get down. Boogie. Boogie. I just walk up the scene, not give a fuck. That's <laughs> you know, all you're like, that. Yeah, I'm like, where you going? <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going Boogie. I don't know either. I'm going to go Boogie. <laughs> They even have a scene where they got him on a rooftop. They're just he, he was on a rooftop with the with his boss <coughs> explaining some something that Superman did to foil their plans. And they just got they just out of the blue, just gotta find just something stupid for him to do. Like he he finds some skis. Jesus gets on, he gets on, yeah, I think I'm he really he finds some skis on. and gets on the slope and it just of course he can't ski so like, and he skis right off the roof. What is he on the skis for? Because uh the top of the roof, it's like it's the joke is, is like it's, it's it's still sunny in Metropolis, mm. but this man because he can control the weather, which I'll explain oh, why right, a little bit. Right, right. He makes it snow on top of his rooftop, so he gets so on some skis. Richard Pryor just buys the skis and just puts them on. Why not? Because I can't ski. Why wouldn't I put them on? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. On top of a damn yeah, a fifty-story building. Right. I mean, huh? <laughs> you can hear it already. Oh. Superman was doing yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he, had thing, yeah. yeah so he, he had the thing. Yeah, so he put it on. He just all of a sudden just found some skis. Like, oh, I think I'll ride these. Oh, 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 See, that could have been funny when he started just kind of walking. It yeah. could have done something funny with that, but did. ad lib or something right yeah, there. No, no, he didn't do anything. But he fell so far, and then landed on that glass seat and didn't go through it. But he was wearing skis. Oh, that's right. <laughs> he broke the ball. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Nah, yeah, he on, had man. a cape on. It's simple <laughs> physics, man. Yeah, and, and, and let's not forget that this this damn you know, the blanket broke his fall, too. You know? <laughs> it slowed it slowed the momentum down. Yeah. yeah. It's a heavy pain. The damn grandma shawl he got on right <laughs> I know. Uh, so, Whatever. so, so, some of this wouldn't be so bad if they weren't asking us to later on buy him as a computer genius. Oh, I know. <laughs> and, and, and you know, and it's so ridiculous for them to ask us to believe this that they don't even bother to explain it. 
how, oh, yeah. he, how he's a computer genius. Okay. And because for one, he started because he didn't start the movie out that way. He actually, uh, when he was in line at the <laughs> at the uh, the unemployment office, he found a little match box, a little match, uh, a little matchbook where it has a advertisement for like a computer class on there. You see right here, you know, become a computer programmer. He's like, oh, okay. So I guess I'll do that now. I guess, yeah, I guess I'll do that. So uh, he signs up and out of nowhere just discovers, oh shit, I'm a genius. How did he do that? I don't know. I just did it. It don't help when he does that. So he just, he just, just knows it out of nowhere. He just, he went, once he got a computer, he's like, "Oh shit, I know how to do this. I'm a genius." So okay, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, it'd be one thing like he just had to be good at equations or something like that. You know what I mean? Like just like naturally good, like a savant. But like just here's a machine I know nothing about, and now I know how to use it. Yeah, don't explain shit with it. They know this is ridiculous. So they just like, you know what? Don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> yeah, they just said right, the I mean, You know, but, but, but then he's like, good boy, once I figured out calculations or no, something. If that, no, you're right. If that I could buy. If he had been good at something like math or something like right, that before. That you can buy. No, right? you, not you can that. buy that. But, but, just, but he just, they you know, just pulled genius out his ass? No. No. Um, or he's good at fixing something or something mm. like that, whatever. No, he ain't good. He, you saw the beginning. He ain't yeah, good at the well, goddamn thing. Yeah, he's in the so unemployment line. He ain't good at shit. In fact, they say you can't even work fast food. Right, he couldn't remember how to get He couldn't remember people's orders and stuff. Yeah. It's like he couldn't work and it was, he couldn't be a delivery guy. That was like a bunch of shit. They say you ain't qualified for nothing. <laughs> but all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he gets by a computer. I'm like, oh, I'm a genius. I'm like, get the hell out of here with that, man. He qualified for nothing. No, he didn't. Nothing. And a goddamn so, like, okay, he's a genius now. Which is not a goddamn thing. All I'm right, so, so you a genius now. Fine, okay, fine. cool. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go yes. with it. But he doesn't, doesn't use his genius to get rich by, you know, like making a, a an operating system or... You know, get the job. <laughs> get the job. He, he, uh, no, he gets a job. Oh, okay. he gets a job. See, that's the thing. He doesn't get rich by like making an operating system or you know making spreadsheets better, or a tax program or something. No, he uh, he he gets a job and he gets rich by. And I don't know, man. I don't even know what they say. Like this, I, I see this is what black people do. Yeah, he gets instead of using his genius to actually make something better. He's, nah, for good. He goes in there. It just starts. <laughs> He starts uh, stealing from the company. <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> yeah. Immediately. Immediately, man. Yeah, he finds out that they say it's something like there's pennies that nobody's... Oh, 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 they did in Office Space. Remember the yeah. Office Space, they even say that. Remember they did in Superman 3? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, said, like, yeah, like yeah. There's, there's pennies floating around that nobody's using. Right, so, so he's, he's, he's taking all those. And, and doesn't realize, now he starts getting, like, these big damn $86,000 checks. <laughs> Because he did it all because he did it too fast or whatever. Yeah, he's supposed he, to go over. Yeah, man, he gets these big ass, he gets these big ass fat checks from from the from the office and don't think that the, he nobody gonna notice, right? Don't think that accountant's not looking at or anything right. like Entry that. Entry level motherfucker getting getting hundred thousand dollar checks. Yeah. <laughs> well, his, his plan was to do it slowly, right, over a course of time. Not that slow because when they start bringing him his checks, they like he opens this up and it says eighty six thousand dollars in there. Damn. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. Oh, here it is. Let me see here. Let me see when he gets here. I think when he gets his check. Let's see here. All right, hold on. Another week, another check. Oh. Don't you have another one for me? I put in a voucher for expenses. <laughs> Looking guilty as hell, too. Yeah. Yeah. Have another one for me. Blue box crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah. yeah. Move the fuck on. Look at this, man. Eighty-five thousand dollars, man. And nobody went for expenses. Hey, for expenses. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you expect? <laughs> what you buy? First class trips. <laughs> yeah, and no. What do you mean? Like nobody went. Hmm, this can't be right. But that's the thing. Somebody did. Like, it's uh, black ass up there just getting these big ass checks and thinking, well, ain't nobody watching. Driving. <laughs> <laughs> he knew too. Yeah. 
driving down, bring, driving up in new cars. <laughs> oh, free and Ferrari. Ferrari. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, look at him. So he's like, saving the money he's stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Just and, and, and flaunting it. Right, flaunting it, right. Yeah, so now. You drive the old car to work. <laughs> Keep the Ferrari at home. <laughs> nope. So, so now he's getting these big ass checks and uh and they, and he's getting caught. So now the so now the boss calls him in. That's why that's why the scene earlier was like uh Mr. Gorman like oh because he's guilty. Right. He got caught, but the boss is like you know listen, I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I see what's he's going. like listen, I'm not going to uh I'm not going to turn you into the to the police. I I, I just want you to do a little something for me. Vulcan is the weather satellite our government put up in orbit to monitor the weather. But if somebody were to reprogram it, it could do much more. He wants him to hack government satellites right. now. He went from, like, stealing from the company to, like, uh, yeah, hacking the government satellites with lasers. <laughs> okay, well, here, okay. He did figure out the computer in a day, so of course he could do that. Okay, of course. Two, oh, of course. Number two, they have him over a barrel because... They could turn him into the cops, and that's what he's doing. Could you know he'd go back to prison? I'm sure he's already been. Yeah. And then this story has he already been in prison? They didn't say he oh. did. Uh, but, you know, come on, we, 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 come on, you know how they do. <laughs> of course, he, yeah. 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 The first thing he does when he gets a legit job is start stealing. stealing. Yeah. So yeah, you know he's been <laughs> Dave motherfucking one. Yeah. Why you think he's in the unemployment line? Cause he's not hireable. Because <laughs> he, he, he got a fucking record. That's why I started going, you know, I'm going to do real well this and work my way up. Oh, no, nah, fuck that. I'm going to steal. As soon as I get here, I'm going to rob you motherfucking yeah, lie. Yeah. You should have hired me. <laughs> I'm looking for a come up right now. <laughs> Y'all fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all should have been watching me. <laughs> Y'all should have told me I was good at this shit. <laughs> I got some for y'all. <laughs> Get my check, goddammit. But anyway, yeah, so now they're going to have him do that, and, they, and he has to do it. Yeah, a week ago, he was smoking cigarettes on the unemployment line, smoking some cools, and now he's hacking the government satellites. And the reason why he wants to be hacked up that, uh, I forgot the guy's Robert name. Vaughn. Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn. Robert Vaughn. Ross Webster. Okay. The reason why he wants him to hack into the government satellites because he wants him to change the weather because he controls all the coffee prices in the world. And he's like, but that, that one place... One place they don't they they don't want to do right they don't want to play right. Columbia, Columbia. I like Columbia. <laughs> like, yeah, you want to keep the fuck down? <laughs> Tell me something. Columbia. Columbia. Columbia has two important exports, and one of them's coffee. And now, now you know, so he wants to like change the weather and uh, fuck up the coffee crop because they won't play ball with him. Yeah, I, yeah, he wants to like mess up so he can tr- control the price of, of, of coffee over there. This is very convoluted. <laughs> Yeah. So he wants you. He wants them to hack the the government satellite, change the weather. Stay with me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm pitching this to the studio. <laughs> he wants to hack the government satellite so he can change the weather because the Colombians ain't playing fucking right with the coffee prices, which is my biggest uh, money yeah. maker apparently. And yeah. So I can I, I can hold them hostage by changing the weather, and their coffee crop won't be well, right? And that's how I'll do this. <laughs> sure. Yes, coffee. Sure, over oh, coffee. And I mean, he goes there. They, they, we got hurricane, hurricane Pryor over there. He tears, he tears Columbia up, man. God damn! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's what the hurricane sound like. Yeah. Oh. Tear shit up. Yeah. Through the power of stock footage. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Cause you see the way that shit, the way that, you see the way that grain changed, man. Yeah, now this, this is this is the movie right here. That's the movie. That's, yes, that's the studio. Set, but, but watch this. Stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, right exactly. There. Yeah, totally. You can always tell that. Um, <laughs> that's some real shit that happened. Actually, probably. <laughs> I'm serious. It's that stock footage, man. Yeah, it is. So now, my man. He's, since he's hacking the, uh, since he's hacking the government, he's hacking all kind of shit now. He's he's hacking ATMs. He's getting money. No, by accident. So now he just uh, he just fucked things up. Just messing up everything. He's Ooh. interfering with the. Uh, See the red over here. Oh yeah. <laughs> the money and shit. He, he's interfering with uh, credit card companies, causing husbands to abuse their wives. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you know what that's from, right? Oh, that's from that old movie. Uh, yeah, with uh, um, Clark Gable. Uh, no, no, uh, James Cagney. James Cagney. Yeah, 
uh, uh, oh god, uh, 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 Public Enemy. I was gonna say yeah. Superman Three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, but he just he did it all. In yeah, the gyps. Uh, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, no, bitch. <laughs> That's a great fruit. <laughs> so abusive too. It he really is. Abusive. It's missive too. Yeah. Yeah. At least he didn't hit me this time. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's what she's looking too. Like, well, yeah, yeah, could've been a lot worse if well, I last I, week. Shit, I got off easy this time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God damn. He's messing things up so bad that he even has stoplights messing up, trap, causing oh. traffic jams. So bad that the little man in the in the in the in the traffic lights, they they, they want to kill each other. <laughs> Watching this as a kid, and I was listen as a kid. You you've been giving up a lot. Right. I was trying to ride with this movie, but I said that's just dumb. That's fucking dumb. That's what that's what I realized. You know what? I don't like this movie. Yeah, when I was like, I was like this movie stupid. All right, now you treat me like I'm stupid. Yeah, he's, exactly. That's the last straw. Goddamn it! To hell with it. I'm, yeah. listen, I stuck with you for about an hour now. Yeah. now yeah. This yeah. Is dumb. You fuck me again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, no, not 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 no. We ain't not doing again. this no more. No. That's it. I'm done with you. Yeah, it's stupid ass man. three. <laughs> and of course, since he's uh, since he's hacking all these systems, it's only a matter of time before uh, fake Luther uh, has him uh, hacking uh, oil rigs and affected uh, you know uh, oil tankers. Their routes the way they go. You can see right here. Okay, I'll press the button. But I'm not so sure about this irreversible business. For the internet. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oil rigs going the wrong way. That's what he wants to have. Yeah, yeah, because he now he wants to control oil. Okay. He won't go from coffee to he wants everything now. Oil. And by the way, ain't apparently it's not affecting anybody else in the world because America's the only one that's fretting about it to, to the point where in American small towns people are just beating the shit at each other. Now this is a funny ass scene. This, they gotta go hardcore <laughs> with this. <laughs> Man, do you remember this? <laughs> so, I remember something like this. So there's, gas. A, there's a fight at a gas station, yeah. and it, it's actually. It's like fights that we see on the internet now. Well, that's realistic because remember we had that gas shortage for a week. I saw two people getting a fist fight, and that oh, was like yeah. four days we had gas shortage. Exactly. <laughs> I'm serious. So here, that, this then you know what? You had one of the most realistic moments in the movie because okay. one dude gets out of his car, it goes over this other dude, and, and uh, the, then the dude that he walked to was talking shit before, <laughs> and then the guy gets out of his car like, oh shit, tries to roll up the window, and then the <laughs> <guy was> like, <laughs> nah, 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 too late now. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 I don't like anybody else. Man, man, stop it! I'm, he's coming over here, Mark. He's coming over here. No, too late for that shit now. Yeah. Yeah. Pull that shit down. Yeah, what'd you say? What oh, are you doing? Oh, oh, don't you do it, y'all. Don't. Don't. He slapped his ass. Oh, damn. Yeah. Got a coat stuck in there. <laughs> it's even a slapstick fight where he's all leaning over the window. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't run because the coat was caught. Yep. Come out of these. I didn't even see that, Billy. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was looking like you know, what the fuck yeah. you <laughs> Now, wait a minute, man. We can talk this out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look, man, look, my wife said all this shit. <laughs> he said, oh, shit, I ain't even gonna get out the car. Yeah. I'm gonna try to roll this shit off. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. He, like, he, pulled that shit, he pushed that shit down like he was Superman. Yeah. No, nah, we don't do this now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he pushed that shit all the way down. Took it off. Shoot his damn gun. Should I have to get over here? I have to walk over here. We gonna do this. <laughs> you, you made me get out the car. Fuck that. You know, it's plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it on. Uh, no. But even the bully, he's like stuck in the window. Know, he yeah. opens the door. He said it's a slap stick on fire. It is. It really is. I like this movie, man. Yeah, I'm a that's slap stick going on. So, the, the, now, oh, that's God. the thing. Some of those things are funny. Like, we're laughing hard at that. The stuff with Richard Pryor, a lot of that stuff is just not working. And, you know, I'll let some of the other stuff slide. It's even like, Bits of funniness here and there. But then, man, they got a moment in here where it's just like, damn, this is cringy, man. This is just awful. This is the it's the part where 
you know, the movie stops to let Richard Pryor do a whole comedy routine where he's dressed like a, a he's dressed like a, a the, stop, he's dressed like this general. Oh, uh, and the, it's just the movie just and listen. I'm not even sure the whole thing is, but the movie goes on for about five minutes or so to let him just do his it's shtick. It's just, time, yeah, it is. His stick as an army general. Well, I don't have to tell you that America leads the world in high grade plastics. We cannot. Oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> I was like, damn, Richard, man, oh. man, you. <laughs> Shit, I, I thought it was going to be a good Richard Pryor yeah. concert. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I was, I was excited to meet you too, man. Yeah, shit. <laughs> you're like, I paid tickets for this? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, when's he going to do the jokes? Tell some jokes. <laughs> or a chemical plastics gap. Now listen to me. He was Superman like, yeah. God damn. Boo. Shit, I ain't got, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't got no powers for this. What you say? Yeah, boo. <laughs> yeah, like a son. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Superman's like, do you want our president of the United States sitting down to write a peace treaty and have his ballpoint pen bust open and the ink run out all over his nice clean pad in front of the world leader. It's like Jesus, what is he, man. What? This is not like. So this. what happened is they 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 did this whole <clears throat> this is like this they did this whole gag based on. This plot to give uh, Superman this big hunk of kryptonite that they found. Ah. And they didn't try to kill him. Mm. So they just had him come up as a general presenting him with this rock in appreciation for stopping the chemical uh, fires earlier. But this, listen, this, this, it still don't make no sense because, you know, first of all, he, uh, Superman is just, Superman just dumb. Sometimes Superman just be stupid. So because when they get out to give him the kryptonite, Superman just like, who? Okay. And he just takes it. This is a small token of our appreciation to show to you for saving us from a chemical plant disaster. Thank you very much, General. Okay, okay no, so, listen. So, Superman knows what it is. Superman right? should know, yeah, for, there's a lot of things wrong here. First of all, he didn't suspect that this general <laughs> With the, with the big ass afro right. and mustache, something that general don't have. Right. He didn't suspect that maybe he's not a general. Dressed like, like Patton. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Era too, the era too. He looks like he's dressed in the 1940s. <laughs> with, yeah, exactly. Ain't no general gonna walk up there with no afro under his helmet like that. Right. Second of all, yes, he knows what kryptonite is. He didn't, you didn't expect that a big ass green rock, yeah. the color of kryptonite might be kryptonite? Yeah, it's not an emerald. No. No, not not at all, man. But this does lead to one of the best moments in the movie because this is where we get this is where we get asshole Superman, not oh, evil yeah. Superman, not evil Superman, asshole Superman. That was my favorite part when I was a kid. Oh man, because the rock doesn't kill him; it just it just it just turns him dark. First of all, <laughs> I love this; it turns him into a creep. Because now that he's a now that he's a asshole, Superman, he's like, all right, I ain't got to be nice no more. You gonna give me some ass? I'm tired of you and that little bastard. You got now, now listen, somebody gonna give up something. Either it's gonna be uh, that little boy, but somebody gonna give me some ass. <laughs> he's like, I just, I ain't. he's like, I ain't got to be nice no more. Somebody gonna give me some ass. Somebody in this room. I ain't leaving. One thing for sure. I ain't leaving. I ain't, I ain't going leaving. nowhere. And say she tried to get she tries to get my head. He's like, I ain't I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> no, it's unusual finding a good looking girl like you alone like this. She's like, oh fuck. Here. I'm still here. <laughs> Yo, man, look at that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you heard me. Yeah, should I ain't going nowhere where he's here? A little too was hot back then. I remember. Oh yeah, a little. Yeah, that's her, her name. A little, a little too. Little, yeah, no shit. He, he's like, yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah get that right. Yeah, 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 I'm still here. <laughs> he's he's staring down. Do his X-ray vision. <laughs> I love the way. Yeah, she thought she was. <laughs> she thought it gonna be nice. She's like, well, say so. Balls of your court. No, it's unusual finding a good-looking girl like you alone like this. Uh-huh. 
Yeah, you can sit there all you want to. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> See, you can't. We can sit here and say nothing. Yeah. But I'll tell you what. You ain't got to say nothing. I'll tell you what, though. See, and you know what's up. You ain't, you ain't got to say shit. You know what's up. You know what it is. You don't know me parading shit out. I can, I can sit. All right. Yeah, I don't put up with a lot of shit from you, that little brat of yours. <laughs> Time to pay the fine. Shit, I'm getting something. <laughs> Bill shit, coming I'm going to collect. I'm going to collect my shit. Shit, I came to that goddamn birthday party. I saved him. I signed an autograph. Now, fuck. Try to get me something. I ain't asked for shit yet. And I ain't going. And I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to ask. <laughs> shit, read my face, bitch. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Look at that like, <laughs> Look. <laughs> you, better, you better do something. I'm about to make the first move. And you, and you don't want that. You don't want that. <laughs> Shit, I, I gotta break your legs or something. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> you ain't giving up smooth. Yeah. <laughs> guys, it's about to be something. Now I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, this is me being nice. Yeah. With this fucking creepy look on my face. <laughs> and so he goes from. Oh man. And then he goes from being a creep to just being a dick. <laughs> Wait, look at that. <laughs> uh, got drunk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he, he start getting drunk, man. Let me do some of the shot glass Oh yeah. Uh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, I, no, you're right. No, he, he does. But that's 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 uh that's after he's just being a dick, right? You know, because that's what he does, man. He just because he's man, he's just going around just doing things just to ruin people's day, man. Like this this fool flew to Italy. Oh to, yeah, I'm this now. Yeah. He flew to Italy just to do it, just to do it, to, to, uh, 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 a stupid a prank. Dick move, yeah, yeah dick move, yeah. Like he straightens out the the, the leaded <laughs> towel. Fuck yeah. It's a funny thing. He he did it. This 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 damn monument. He went to Italy to 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 mess with that just to. Promise us some ass. Just do me one little favor first. What's that? Now, see, there's this little boat, and it's not going where it's supposed to go. On. I'm on it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Woo. yeah. 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 
<laughs> pour the water. It's no time. Yeah, you see what I'm but shit, bitch, I'll be right back. And here's the thing, man. So, uh, oh my god. So she asked him to go do it. He did it, <laughs> and he said, "And hey, listen, I'm here to collect." Oh, yeah, been that asshole. <laughs> That answer. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, super away. Yeah. yeah, so he fucked her. That's it. Yeah. I'm not sure he stopped after that. Was she down? At least <laughs> she came back. Okay. Yeah, so she went. He didn't kill her. <laughs> she took it like a child. <laughs> <laughs> you think it'd be happy getting all this sex and everything? Yeah. But what's so funny, man? So he he does that. He just he just goes to start. To start drinking, man. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, he, he was gonna say, yeah, yeah he just becomes up. an alcoholic, man. <laughs> and some man just goes to a bar, and just starts drinking by himself. <laughs> by himself. And then look at him, boy, knocking it back. Yeah, in the middle of the goddamn day. <laughs> he, the head. Head. he got the whole bottle yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no bar does it. You know? oh, give me that bar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. Fucking piss. Yeah. Sit, sit straight up too. She is, and yeah, just the, the, the drunk at the bar, and one of them trouble making drunk yeah. too, man. He just looking to start some shit. Yeah, yeah, just decide to take the peanuts and just start destroying this man's bar. Oh, that's right. You be the enemy, yeah. But nobody wants to say nothing. You hear that man? Just leave him alone. Yeah, he just leave him alone. Yeah, he just, just starts him destroying his man's bar right. for no reason. Just leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, man, you know that's so, a good fact too, by the way. But yeah, it, but yeah. Except you ain't got no, you ain't got no, you know, no bouncer that can kick him out. So they just <laughs> let him tear that place up. What are you gonna do? Yeah, not not a goddamn thing. Too, he'll kill you. Shut up. Hell, I thought he'd be happy because he could, he's getting ass now. Yeah. You know? Like now, now he's a super hoe. Yeah. You know? He's <laughs> tearing up boats. Yeah. He, you know, I thought he'd be all right, but nah, man, he's just angry. Yeah. Angry. And it's so bad. You know, it it gets so bad that even Clark can't stand it no more. Clark, now here's where the, the movie just gets I crazy. Know. It, 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 I know. I, I do remember kind of this what happened, but I mean, I, even though. I love the result of it. I remember even when I was a kid, 30 years ago, I was like, this don't make no goddamn sense. This don't sense. make no goddamn sense. I was a junior high. <laughs> so Superman gets so bad that even Clark can't stand him. So what does Clark do? Just decides to just leave his own life. Yeah, like, fucking body. Like, <laughs> don't make no goddamn sense. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> he leaves his own body. And, and by the way, Clark might have want to stay up in there because once he leaves, he, Whoa, he man. immediately start getting his ass beat. The horrible the fuck are you? The fuck are you? <laughs> I mean, not just getting his ass he beat. He beats the shit out of him. He starts whipping his ass, man. Yeah. He starts whipping his ass like he's his daddy. Yeah, please, Clark, check it. I mean, got you. I know that for a long time. Yes. Yeah. Whipping his ass, Walking man. Him up. I remember this was painful to me when I was a kid. I was like, God damn. Man, it's crazy because, I mean, they going at it. They yeah. going at it. I mean, he's, he beat him, whipped his ass, starts treating him like Wally Coyote. <laughs> Acme. Yeah, yeah. God damn, might as well just drop the anvil on him. Yep. But... It's okay, so it's kind of funny at first because it's so ridiculous that, mm. you know, he's just fighting himself. Yeah. But then... The shit gets disturbing, man, because he's really out to murder Clark, oh, yeah, man. yeah. And he's out to murder him in the most horrible way that he can. Like, he's he puts him in the... On uh, that conveyor belt, right? Well, he, first of all, he puts him in the press. Oh. And, and the way he's oh, going yeah, down, yeah. it actually it looks painful, yeah. man. Yeah. He's liking it a little too much. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, and the way he's wheezing and ooh, like yeah. that sounds horrifying. And then when he didn't yeah. die there, he's like, "All right, I got something else for you." As he puts him in the, he puts him in that crusher. Oh right. <laughs> so here's what's horrifying about this is like, yeah, like, I remember this now. Yeah, yeah, like my man is just he, he's just uh, first of all he's so cold about it, and and uh, 
Like, he really hates Clark. And so while mm-hmm. Clark isn't there dying, he takes his glasses and just starts crushing them. Man, you remember that? Yeah. That's a really horrifying man I was young. Yeah, because you can hear Clark in there screaming like he's like being crushed to death. Scream, yeah. yeah, you heard You remember yeah. this? Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah really? shaking. The machine's shaking. Ah! I'm like, Jesus, man. I'm like, you know what? This is this yeah, for, for, end this. for kids, yeah, man. You got to stop uh, this in a minute, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But even though you can hear Clark screaming there, uh, Clark is like, "But you forget, bitch! I'm super too." Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, I got enough of this shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "Enough is enough, goddamn it!" He said, "Now you, you done tore my glasses up. That, that, that was it. That was it. I heard you break them. Yeah. Once well, you tore my glasses up, bitch, that's it." He's like, "I'm tired of this shit." <laughs> look at my face. Yeah. Look at that. Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Look at my oh, <laughs> Yeah, bitch. I'm all right. I'm, enough is enough, goddamn. Like, where the fuck you come from? <laughs> yeah, he busted out. Hey, he got his ass by surprise. Yeah, he too. heard the screams and thought it was done. Yeah. Uh, yeah like, oh yeah. Too late, man. On your ass. You like, come on, dog. Oh god, when they ran out, it immediately went for his throat. That's what he gets. And and now and now, uh, uh, asshole Superman. He's like, oh shit, he's serious. You know, he's trying to get away. And Clark's like, no, nah, it's too late for that now. <laughs> no, no, you had the chance. No, you tried to kill me too many times. You, shit, this, this is hey, we doing this. Choked his ass out of existence. Yeah, exactly. Choked his ass and it disappeared. <laughs> he disappeared. I love it too, because Clark is like, I take too much shit from everybody. I got yeah. I ain't gotta take shit from myself. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Choked I got you. <laughs> Hey man, you probably just walked out his own body five minutes ago. <laughs> okay? Uh, and then beat the shit out of himself. Yeah, shit, most alcoholics go, hey, hey, man, nah, I'm just gonna murder myself. <laughs> I'm gonna choke the shit out of you. I'm gonna choke the booze at you. I'm gonna choke the whole out of your ass. <laughs> You're like, I'm clean now. Yeah, goddammit. Uh, Twelve steps right there. Now, y'all, this has been long enough, so I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of what happens at the end because I mean, we, you know, this, it's you get the highlights here. This <laughs> For is real, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, this well, is. Once that fight happens, then. yeah, this is, it, it ain't nothing because this shit is just dumb. Because after this, Richard Pryor is such a genius. He has, <laughs> he has, he has, to, he has to, uh, fake Lex Luthor. He's like, listen, <laughs> I want to build a sentient supercomputer. Oh, no reason. Can, I, can you do that? He's like, it'll help you out too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? You know, like, two weeks ago, my man was smoking cools at that yeah, yeah, line. Yeah, we're, we're now, I want, now I want a sentient supercomputer. It does everything a normal computer can do, and a thousand things none of them can do. Come on, let's give it a dry run. Wait a minute, we've got to wait for Gus. Ugh. Who needs Gus? Uh, Gus? Yeah, I know. You mean the one who done all the shit for us? Who needs Gus? <laughs> yeah. You do, you do, bitch. <laughs> you don't know what I mean. <laughs> 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 That's his sister. Oh, that's right. Okay. Because that's his, because he does he just talks trash to his sister all the time. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and so they. This is interesting here, though. They so I don't know how they how these even make sense. So now that that Superman is back, the supercomputer decides to like, all right, you know what? I'll, we'll we'll make it uh, to where we can try to kill him. I don't know what what they got missiles. I don't know if it's kryptonite missiles or what. Sure. I don't know what it yeah, is, sure. man. But the computer says, you know what, it, what, what how are we going to do? We're going to make Killing Superman fun because we're going to make it like an Atari video game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, shit. And that's, you know what, the funny thing is, the reason why it looks like an Atari video game and uses some sound effects is because Atari did the graphics for this. Oh, sure. It was 1982. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Atari did those graphics. In fact, they got one point where it sounds like Pac-Man. <laughs> what the fuck about this? That looks better than anything we played in 82, though. It sure, yeah. <laughs> You're like, where, where you been hiding all that shit, Atari? Yeah, it looked better than that damn Nintendo 64. You mean Nintendo yeah, oh 64? Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> He's flying upside down. You can't even get him right. Yeah. Those glitches. <laughs> you got those hoops. You got those hoops. You got hoops and shit. You ran and you fly the wrong way. The game fucks up. He gets stuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, yeah. man, we, we ain't we ain't finished that part yet, so you yeah. can't go over there. Yeah, it was like trying to control a dead body up there. Was, <laughs> man. You had it upside down. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. You fucked up once. If you miss one of the rings and sit your ass back, all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, you been fucked this game. I remember, yeah, that game was awful, man. It was hard. So this, this, even this ancient shit, it looks better than that. Um, probably plays better too. So the sister and the and I remember this part of the movie freaking people out because the original script was supposed to have Brainiac. So all this yeah, stuff I was, was going to ask you is that supposed to be Brainiac? It's supposed to be something of okay. like like Brainiac. They don't say Brainiac, but they they even have a moment where they turn <laughs> they turn the uh, the the villain sister into Brainiac. Oh, that that they, scared me when I was a kid. A dude. lot of kids say that. Yeah. Man. A lot of kids say I scared the shit out of them. Did. <laughs> Yes. Oh, on now, yeah. Yeah. And, man, it was no, it was creepy because she, she also walked, the way she was hollering too. Yeah, no, yeah, no, like yeah. she was in pain. Yeah. yeah. And she walks out looking like a, like a a, a, a robo Edward Scissorhands or something, yeah. man. <laughs> Yeah, Robo scissor hands yeah. over there. So yeah, it looked it that scared a lot of kids, man. Yeah, it did. It's, it's a little creepy now, to be honest. <laughs> um ironically, yo, it is creepy. Yeah. Ironically, uh goofy ass Richard Pryor, Gus Gorman, he's he's the one that actually saves the day. Because he doesn't like the he, it was never in his plan to kill Superman. Right. You know, he's the one to steal some money from the company. Right, right. Yeah, so he's a good guy. <laughs> he's a good guy. So he comes in. When the computer figures out how to kill Superman with uh damn uh crypto kryptonite ray or something, sure. um, Superman's the one that, I mean I'm sorry, Richard Pryor's the one that actually saves him. Stop it! You're killing him! It all took was an axe. Oh uh, yeah, the whole time. <laughs> so fucking Superman up. I got it. Bam, yeah. bam, bam, bam. You can like, do is break the laptop and you're good to go. <laughs> and like, Why don't you just go pull the plug out the wall? Yeah. <laughs> they actually tried that. Oh, the, the okay. computer wants to live. They oh. tried shutting the power down on it. See, some of this shit comes back, some of it's yeah, not. It's, it's all as ridiculous again. All right. But he say it's funny because he saved Superman. And Superman is not only the Superman like uh actually consider him a him a good guy now. You know, uh, Superman considers him like a, a friend. You know, so I don't have, I'm not gonna take you to jail. Right. Like these other guys, because these other guys, you know, they every when the when the lair falls down, everything falls down on them. But don't kill him. Right. But hey, it conveniently leaves him there for the police to arrive. Right. But he says, you know, but you, Gus Gorman, you saved my life. <clears throat> not only are we friends, but since you're black, we soul brothers. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> he just leaves. Yeah. Thank you, brother. No, don't think yeah. you did. Yeah. That guy's going to prison. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he lets him go. After, no, I know. After yeah, he yeah. destroys the computer with the with the cherry slushy, man, he brings a, he brings a, it ain't a real cherry slushy, but he brings acid in there and it overheats uh -oh. and, it, and it turns into like a Slurpee. <laughs> Yeah. That was cheap ass shit. Yeah, cheap shit. Yeah. So now, 
I said, what the dog? <laughs> yeah. no, that was, was it a polar bear or a dog? Oh, it might have been. No, it was yeah. a polar bear. You yeah, cheap a, like, You went to the department store and shit. They were serving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheap. Everything, yeah, it was cheaper than Slurpees, put it that way. Yeah, it was. Kids. Yeah, we yeah y'all remember no that, yeah. and it's a good thing you don't. <laughs> exactly. Because there's no more sugar, boy, and ice. And it, when it melted, it tasted just like water. That sugar was gone for some reason. That's probably what he defeated the computer with, man, because that was around back then. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, well, Brainiac ain't too tough, is he? <laughs> no, no. Maybe if it was actually Brainiac, then maybe right, it would right. be. Uh, so, you know, uh, him and Superman are good. If Superman even gives him a, a ride home, of course, that's mm-hmm. where we, we get the reenactment of the poster. Oh, 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 that's the end of the movie. God yeah, damn, yeah, stop screaming. Oh, yeah, yeah, Jesus. Just defeated a supercomputer. Ten feet yeah. off the ground. Just, just yeah. shut up. Jesus. God damn, man. <laughs> and at the end, he gets Lana Lane back into town. He's like, I ain't listening. I'm going to get this ass one way or another. So he mm-hmm. moves her into town. Gets that job at the oh, Daily wow. Planet. Uh-huh. And Lois has been gone most of the movie. So he said, and he let her know real quick, yeah, shit, see, when you sleeping on me. Yeah, that, exactly. That, that, you had your shot. Yeah, you had your yeah. shot. When you, you ain't the only one around here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to get something one way or another. I like your sparkler. Oh, me too. I couldn't believe it when Clark gave it to me. Clark gave it to you? <laughs> it's like, like you got damn right. Uh, when well, you like, gonna wait on you all the time. Like, I've been trying to fuck you for four years. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you ain't cracked at all. So. <laughs> I've been fuck you for four years. Yeah. That's why she gets the spark, man. Yeah. Yeah, damn right. Yeah. You heard it right. Don't yeah. worry about it. I, I might give it another one. I don't know. Second thoughts now. Cold. Yeah, you ain't took that coal and made a dime out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I got some more coal around it somewhere, goddamn. Yeah, 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 but you ain't getting nothing. Yeah, you ain't getting shit. I tell you what you gonna get, you gonna get a piece of coal. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. ain't squeezing yeah, that. Squeeze that between your ass and see what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and oh. here's the part that you were talking about. Even when he's good, man, he's still causing trouble. Oh, like, those, like those two, like those two Italian guys, they just got this yep. shit together. They would just start to oh, sell, right, 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 right. straighten up towers now. Good call, right? show you some stuff though man uh, before we go i just gotta talk about my man brad 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 is this dude let me see here so brad is this dude who's in in the movie constantly man when brad what's so funny about this is brad is a straight-up alcoholic man 
So let me see if I can find Brad right here. So Brad is, I feel kind of bad for Brad because at first Brad comes across as a bully, but then Brad ain't, he, Brad ain't got no life. No. Like Brad, Brad lived his, his, his highlight was in high school oh playing football. One of those guys. But they, they, they don't hide it. Like they showed that Brad, has, he has an alcohol problem. Oh, do you? Fuck. Yeah. Uh, oh. Lana. Oh, um, hey, sweet. Here I am. Hey, remember when you were queen of the prom? All these guys are waiting in line to get a dance with you? There's only one guy in your dance car right now, huh, honey? That's good old Brad Wilson. Hi, Brad. Hi, Chad. Yeah. Yep. Give him no respect. Nope. But, well, Brad Hood is starting some shit right oh, now. Oh, Brad, oh, no, man, Brad is. His whole, his whole energy right here, you all good. Oh. Like, look, Lonnie, you're going to dance with me, Oh, bitch. hell yeah, like, you get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but then when she won't, she won't dance with him, my man, let me see here. Yeah, when they leave, watch this, my man, he's straight up alcoholic. Look at this. Oh, excuse me, I just like, Lonnie, I haven't danced. I can't watch coming. Oh, well, give me. Nicole. Yeah, for <laughs> real. Hey, hey, win some loose, huh? Yeah, you yeah. should have done. By the way, a lot of the way, alcohol. Yeah, 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 you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I was either going to dance, get some ass, or drink. I'll drink, yeah. Hey. Guess what? I hit one of those goals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you won't hurt so much in a minute. <laughs> my, man, my man shows up at the bowling alley. Jesus. And guess where he walks from? Mage, how'd you like to be the only kid in town without a father? Come from the yeah. bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walking over shit. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, sweet thing. Jesus, man. You can't give it up at all, man. Hey, sweet thing. Interrupting conversations. <laughs> he can't take he a stroll up for the bar, didn't he? He sure did. <laughs> he been there for a while. Walked all over shit to get the yeah, thing over there. He sure did fall. I'm surprised he didn't fall. And I'll tell you, man, the reason why... The reason why uh, things got so messed up is because Brad, let me see here, it's because Brad loved, <laughs> so the, the the place where Richard Pryor went to go hack the system, mm -hmm. like the, apparently there's a computer that's, that's a network to everything, and in this place where you have this really important system that's hacked into everything, there's only one person guarding the place. <laughs> oh, Brad. Drunk ass Brad. Drunk ass Brad. That's who he gets drunk with. That's who he gets drunk with. They got one dude who's an alcoholic working this work, working the night shift over here. Chicago butt against wall. He wanted this special water installed in his office no later than tomorrow morning. So you gotta let me in because I gotta set it up tonight. Oh, oh, shit. He, he just came with his pants right here. Oh, God damn. It's beautiful. He's Come like, on in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you say so? <laughs> right this way, sir. Yeah, come on. How did Richard Pryor know he's not going? I don't know. He's, he's, just, he's just one of those guys that just has yeah, a yeah, trick up his sleeve. I guess, yeah, I guess this town knows. And they... And they go in there and they <laughs> so No he, shit. Yeah, he goes in there and they and boy they have a party, man. Just like Colonel Sanders and yeah, shit. Yeah, look, look, look at this. Sing it for sling. What's wrong with it? There's not a vodka in it. There's no vodka in it! Huh. Then what did I tell you? Here, put some vodka in it. What do you do you, you know? Hey. I mean, top to them off. The man and get the big ass cowboy. <laughs> that cowboy and, and Brad. Look at Brad. Kicking it now, buddy. <sighs> yeah, that perfect. Yeah. You never do pass out, do you? Nope. This man's protecting every network in the in the, in the country <laughs> by himself. By himself, get drunk. drunk. Yeah. Was he drunk at first? No, he, oh, no he, was at, he was actually trying to do it. He's made, he he got probably got that. So, his brain is probably, yeah, yeah. you know, always drunk. He probably got alcohol brain. <laughs> he was trying to do his job. He was trying to. And that's when you get that part where uh, Richard Pryor brings him in to because to, to, he has to have two people to work the system. Oh, right. Oh, he does when he's passed out. Yeah, he, yeah, he brings him I in. He was a, you know, he was a yo yo to tie his hand up oh, so he can right, like, put right. the keys in. <laughs> Yeah, he can treat, uh, let me see. Yeah, key cards, yeah. yeah same, key time. Cards. <laughs> same time. Same time. 
me see here. And that scene goes on forever, from what I recall. <laughs> oh yeah, here, oh, here it is. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, that's what he hacks in, like, yeah. like the ATMs and everything. Right, right. But yeah, it's 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 crazy, man. Because I don't know, I, I don't know what happened to Brad. I don't know if he I don't know if he lost that job or whatever. But I know that Clark he brings a lot of Lang to to to, to Metropolis, mm-hmm. and <clears throat> who shows up? Looks really pretty. God damn, man! man. It's like a cockroach. Out of, it's out of nowhere. Brad. Stalking her ass, man. He went up. His drunk ass came all the way to from, her new apartment. To, to her, yeah, exactly. How do you know where she lives? Hey, now he's had enough. He's yeah. like, I lost my job. <laughs> I ain't got no drink. I ain't got no drinks. I mean, yeah, you fuck. You ruined my life. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> you know your drunk ass ain't yeah, going down. Yeah, look at what this. Is, what was he saying, John? He said, you know, I hate you, Clark. And Clark would be cool. He's like, he's like, why? He said, I hate you, Clark. You know why? And Clark's like, why? He's like, because you're nice. And nice guys finish. <laughs> 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 hold on. I want to finish this time while I punch you. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, yeah. And of course, that's when the elevator will be closed. Yeah. Yeah. And the guy doesn't go, hey, what's going on? And I guess we got to go down. It. Going down, I'm going down. I'm doing my yeah. job. The elevator oh, there. Well, there y'all go, man. That is our review for Superman 3, the bad movie rules for Superman 3. Had a lot of fun with that. genius and also let me go ahead and pull up something right here because kevin king gave me this kevin king produced extraordinary he, he could not believe what he was looking at with eddie murphy let me go ahead and see if i can find this oh kevin where did you put it where did you put it sir because i remember this eddie murphy well there it is i remember this eddie murphy very well but a lot of y'all don't. A lot of y'all just discovered that. You know what? Well, oh, oh, Uncle Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you like to hear the rest of that, look for the Adventures of Pluto and Nash podcast coming soon. <laughs>